Greetings in Jesus name. Kajil khubla agartai ng Jesus. I'm going to take you to Matthew chapter 14. Ba kwa nyala mi fi show Matthew sunu ma khatsao. And we're going to read from verse 13 14 up to 21. Do gar khat khala khatsao ter ter. I'll read verse uh, 13. When Jesus heard it, he departed from there by boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the multitudes heard it, they followed him on foot from the cities. Habo Jesus lo yasno ru lo let no nang ta galing sa kajaka way brew. Ti haba ki pai ba kli yasno ti kli boat ya oda ki kichat hakishnong. Everywhere Jesus went, there were crowds following him. The question is, who is Jesus? Jesus came to bring salvation to all mankind. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And verse 14, he says, the Word became flesh. Jesus is God himself. Because when God created Adam and Eve, he gave them the earth to rule over. He wanted to have a relationship with men. He want to create a man in his own image. He want to impart his nature into men. And he also give them the free will of choice. Because true love must come by free will of choice. But if you create robots, you use remote control, and you ask them to hug you and love you. But that is a machine, thus no feelings. So God created man in His own image. The choice to love, the choice not to love. The choice to obey, the choice not to obey. But because God created us, we carry His glory. We carry His power. We carry His wisdom. We're just like Him. But when we disobey Him, the blessing becomes curse. Divine health becomes sickness. Eternal life becomes Become dead. So that's why God said to Adam and Eve, if you disobey me, then you will lose the blessing. You see, that's the thing. The choice is ours. We want to come to God or we don't want to come to God. So the first man disobeyed. So blessing became curse. Divine health sickness came in. Eternal life turned to death. But you see, God so loved us. And He still made a way for us to come back to Him. If somebody kills somebody, and He has to pay His life, to pay for his life. We are all disobeyed God. And so the curse have come upon men. Sickness has come. And the worst thing, we cannot relate with God. So Jesus provided a way for us to be saved. That's why Jesus said, I am the way. You are looking for the way Jesus said, I am the way. He said, I am life. You're looking for life and life eternal. He said, I am the life. He said, I am the truth. You're looking for the truth. Jesus is the truth. There's no other way to go. Because all of us have done wrong. The curse of Adam is upon us. Jesus came to take away the curse from us. He died on the cross for us. He took all the curse from that came from our generation. Your sickness, your cancer, your tuberculosis, whatever sickness of your body, Jesus paid it on the cross. He's the perfect sacrifice because he did not sin. 
The seed came from heaven. But it was formed in Mary's womb. And came in Mary. the form of man. He walked in the earth as total man. He overcome every temptation. And finally, he was killed on the cross for your sin and my sin. My dear friends who are listening to this message, this is a wonderful opportunity to be set free from sin, to be set free from curse, to be set free from sickness. But there's only one sacrifice. And that sacrifice is Jesus. He carried all our sickness. He carried all our mistakes. So that we will be free. That's why he said, I'm the way. I'm the truth. I'm life. So when he was on earth, every way he went, he cast out demons, he healed the sick. So crowds of people followed. Why they followed? They want life. They want healing. They want restoration. And so we see here in verse 14, when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. He saw the multitude. He saw their sickness. He saw their problem. Not only he brought good news from heaven, good message for them that will heal their soul, that will give them salvation, but also healing to the body. Even today, Jesus is here. He is the same yesterday, today and forever the same. He died on the cross and he rose up from the dead. He conquered death. He set us free from eternal separation. He removed the curse. That's why anyone can come to the Lord. I was in a barber shop and the lady was trimming my hair. She was not the same like my race. Suddenly the Holy Spirit said, talk to her. I said, I'm not sure whether she understands my language. The Holy Spirit said, just say. So she's cutting my hair. I said, you got two boyfriends. One tall, one short. One straight hair, one curly hair. The short man, he has a girlfriend, but the tall one is love you. She was shocked. Are you talking about me? Are you fortune teller? Are you an astrologer? I said, no, I have Jesus in my heart. Jesus love you. She said, but I'm not the same religion like you. I said, my Jesus love every religion. He came from all mankind. In fact, when Jesus came, there were no Christians. He loves everyone. And she said, Oh, you're telling me about my life. Oh, Pietro, you're getting him, Chunga. And you know what she said? The Jesus in your heart, he's talking about me. Can he come inside my heart? I said, sure. Really, he'll come. And that day, she was saved. The curse was removed. The joy of the Lord came to her. And now she can communicate direct with Jesus. Jesus is for everyone. No matter what problem you are facing, what sickness you have, maybe we are struggling in a marriage, maybe you lost your job, whatever your situation, I guarantee you, because he came to set us free. He came to deliver us. He could heal us. He came to show us the way. We never planned to come to this world. God planned it. And he also planned to die for us. To set us free. God loves us. He is the source of love. He is the source of wisdom. He is the source of power. 
All we need to do is open our heart. Maka dai bagi ngin suple ke dono ke jeng. Lord Jesus. One Jesus. Thank you for doing oh, this for me. Oh, I ngok me mele ikini ke kam. Will you forgive me? Try men map ya ka. Will you come into my heart? Try men wan ka men sim jeng. When you do that, balada pile gumta. You are safe. Gumta hi pinyo jeng. Because it's removed. Kata ke jeng tem lakan ria. The sickness is removed. Jeng pang lakan ria. Your life is now ordered by God. But gumta ke jeng im ke jeng pi ke dai balap. And so here he was preaching to these people praying for them. But hang ni Jesus udang ya lap udang dua ing nam ta jeng. It was becoming evening. But gumta ka jan miet kelawan. And then the disciples thought, "There's no food." Bagi senran kiong, nek gumno, mndan jing bam. Thousands of people are here. Oh, gendang ki hajar ki rehong. They heard about the healing, they all came. Bara bagi osro, ye ki jimpet kiak, bara ki lewan mndan sini. And they told Jesus, "But la ongi Jesus. This place is deserted. Oh, gendang ki jaka kalong bakin ja. Send the people to the town. Pa ni ki brio shipo. So they can buy food and eat. Kenang bagi nek tiet jing bam, bakin bam ye lede. But you know what Jesus said? Nek ai ki bo Jesus wong. In verse 16. Ke dekat bakat rewang. Jesus said to them, Jesus long. They do not need to go away. Kim dan kam men let no. You give them something to eat. Ai ma pi ke nyaki ban ba. Jesus told them give them food. Jesus ong ki sanran ai ke jing ba ma. There were 5000 men. Ki dan do ko mura san hajar ngot tang ki rang ba. Maybe a 3000 wives. Let's say a lai hajar ki kin thai. Maybe another 10000 children. Let's say she po hajar ki kena. So so many thousands of people there. Oh ki hajar ki bre ki don hang ta. How to feed them? Kum non bsai ki ki bre. And then they said to Jesus In verse 17, they said to him, "We have here only five loaves and two fish." Yo hang ni ngi don tang santli ki kpu, but artli ki dok ha. Obviously, the disciples have known that these two fish and five loaves is just enough for the twelve. Kita ngut ba yekani ke santli ki kpu, but artli ki dok ha kadai tang nam tagi kan armut. You see, when we face our problem, habang ngi mat yeki jing e, yeki jing em. We are limited in our thinking. But we don't know how to come out of our sickness. We don't know how to come out of our sickness. We don't know how to come out of our sickness. We don't know how to come out of our We don't know how our family is going to run. We don't know how our family is going to run. We our own wisdom. But when we connect with God, when we surrender our life to God, He will give His wisdom. But come down, I can start to our life will change. But come down, I can 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 change. They only had two fishes and five loaves. So two fishes. Talk about the spirit and soul of man. The five loaves, maybe the five senses of the body. But what is the actual meaning? They gave what they have to Jesus. They thought these two fishes and five loaves can only feed us. Kita ngut dor baik begini arti dok hasan telikik pu gede tang nam tak jugi senran. God said give it to me. Uji suang ay nak. When you give your gifts, your talents. Balap begini ay kata ke jing lagi. When you put your whole life into the hand of Jesus. Balap begini ay tilo di kamat ke jing im ke jeng pihau Jesus. A miracle will take place. Kita akan kambak akan jahat jing im. I challenge you today. Ngaku aban ong yufi. You know, I was a working man before, and I had difficulties. The doctor said my wife cannot give birth at all. I went to Jesus. I started to pray. I started to believe in His word. I went fasting and prayer. And my wife became pregnant. And we, never, we did not seek the medical help because medical help said, yeah, she cannot conceive. Her womb is too weak. She's got an autoimmune system working against her body. So it's, you cannot have a baby. But I went to Jesus. Okay. And he touched her womb. Today I have two children. And three grandchildren. But lain not kikun kesel. God can turn your life around. Ublai ulah ampen kelak kong pong. You have to put your life in His hand. Hendai pide ben ay kijing em kijing pide. I gave my life. And my wife gave my life into His hand. Ngah bagi kurim jangan ilah it lah dia kak ti kijing try. And we only are blessed. Berkom tangi long kibla kerku. Multiply blessing. Berkom tangi don kata kijing kerku kibla kerku. Children also blessed. But my ear lah yajing kerku. Because Jesus said the thief come to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus awa unong tu one om tang ban tu hendai ban penyak ban penyak. I come to give you life, but abundant life. Hendai ngalawan ban ay kijing em kijing em kibla kerku. When they gave the two fish. Jesus and five loaves into the hand of Jesus. Tapi ay kita kita arti dok hapa san kipu kiti kijong tra. Jesus blessed it. U Jesus lakerku and break it. Baru lapen kedia. You see, sometime when we give our life to God, baladangi ay kijing em kijong isong tra. He have to break us. Udon kamu ruban kedia ini. He have to mold us. Ban penwan 
Because some evil, some wrongdoings, all he will help us to bring it out. He's the creator. He knows the best. But he loves you. And he will willingly shape you. And then he told his disciples, we have to work with Jesus by faith. He will give you instruction what to do. And if you walk in his plan, obey him. Two fishes, five loaves become a miracle. And they fed everyone. And everybody was satisfied. And there were 12 baskets full left over. This is the miracle of God. When we put our life in his hand, he'll do a miracle. And then Jesus went into the sea. He told them to take the boat and go into the sea. Because he just teach them how to believe in God. Jesus went to the mountain and prayed. The Holy Spirit told him, walk on the water. And he began to walk on the water. And when the disciples saw him walk on the top, they thought it's a ghost. When, when, when you put your life in God's hand, everything becomes a miracle. Your family, your children, job, everything changes. The weaknesses you have, the bad habits you have will help you to overcome. And then you will begin to walk in the spirit. God will do miracles in your life. Peter, the disciple of Jesus, was in the boat. He looked at Jesus. Jesus said, don't be afraid, it's me. And Peter said, if you are Jesus, then can I walk on the water? Jesus said, come. This fisherman who had been fishing all the time in the sea, he thought only ghosts walk on the water. Now when Jesus said, come, he also walk on the water. What is he telling to us? You and I, can be like Jesus. Can do like Jesus. Can talk like Jesus. Can do miracles like Jesus. When we become his child, when we invite Jesus into our heart, when our sins are forgiven, when we follow him, your life will become a light. Jesus is the light. And the light comes into you. And you become a light. And then he starts sinking. But Habas Dangmanam? Jesus said, Why are you doubting? Because when you fix your eyes on God, and fix your mind and heart on his promise, you will overcome your circumstances. Our relationship with God is important. And it gives me some understanding. There are some people, they came only two fishes and five loaves. They are called the land believers. They only come for blessing. But only the disciples follow him in the boat. But when you walk in the boat with Jesus, he is going to take you, shape you, along the way. But have a vision but who are the link on how do you repeat from my fee? But some people don't like to walk on the water. But don't give you a quick one. It takes faith in Jesus to walk in the supernatural. Other disciples were holding on to the boat. But Peter wanted to try to walk like Jesus. So there's a land level of faith and boat level of faith. They're ready to follow Jesus, but they need something to hold on to. But Peter was ready to let go the boat and walk on the water. God is calling everyone to walk with him so that you can experience supernatural power supernatural healing and God doing a miracle in many areas in your job life in your family life and when you share your testimony people come to Jesus he wants us to walk like him he will give us the Holy Spirit and we can walk in the supernatural. And Peter and Jesus walked back to the wall. Jesus caught him 
But yes, we struggle in our faith. But as you walk with Jesus, he will also make it to walk by faith. My brothers and sisters, wherever you are, listening to this message, I want to tell you that Jesus loves you. You may think, why God loved me? I don't know him. Jesus loved everyone. Red color, yellow color, black color, fair color, any color, he loves everyone. The blood that came from the cross will take away the curse from our life. There's a brother sitting at home and you're watching me and you're telling in your heart I got this growth in my lungs. Can Jesus take it away? I want to tell you that if you believe tonight, now, Jesus can heal you. There are few people with bad habits. You're listening to this message. If you walk with Jesus, step by step it will disappear. Maybe you have no Jesus in your heart. No peace in your heart. Maybe you are frustrated with your life. I want to tell you that Jesus came to give us life. He came to give us abundant life. He came to take away your frustration. While I'm standing here, Holy Spirit is beside you. If we close our eyes together and put your right hand on your heart and pray together with me, say these words, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me on the cross. I need to be healed. I need to be set free from curse. I want my wrongdoings to be forgiven. Lord, I need, I need good life. I need healing. I need the joy of the Lord. I need hope in life. I need to talk to you. I want to hear your voice. Jesus, forgive me. Jesus, come into my heart. I take you as my Lord and Savior. And as you say these words, I want to tell you, God is omnipresent. He's just beside you. He's touching your heart. And he is coming into your heart. He's taking the curse away. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I lay hands in the spirit. I rebuke every sickness. Whoever is following this prayer, all sicknesses are paid on the cross. I pull it right now. I release the healing. Every evil spirit, wicked spirit, I take authority in the name of Jesus. I command you evil spirit to leave right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, for those who don't have a job, those who need to get married, those who are going through some difficulty, in the name of Jesus, we release the miracle now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For forgiving our sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That all those people who have received you as Lord and Savior, the curse is removed. They are child of God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is so real. Amen. Amen. God loves you. Thank you.